Hey everybody, it's Mergle, and today I thought of a little creative video I thought would be fun. It's similar to what I did a couple months back. Um, I went and seen if players would help me, and then I gave them a reward. Well, we're going to do something a little different this time. Uh, I'm going to call this the Secret Millionaire, because, you know, obviously I know what the prices all these are, and we've got tons of pets and gold and all that stuff, so that's why it's the Secret Millionaire, but they don't know that, because I'm going to be on a level, a low level. I'll get to, like, level 4 or 5, and then I'll head to the main city, and um, I'll trade a random level 100, and I'll say, hey, some guy gave me this. Okay, it'll be, we'll, we'll try each of the whelpings and we'll try three different servers. And I'll say, hey, some guy gave me this and I, I don't know what it's worth. Could you tell me what it's worth? And we'll see if they're trying, they'll try and scam us. And if they don't try and scam us and they're polite and friendly and say uh, about what we should put it worth on the auction house and they take us there and show us what to do, then we're just going to give them the pet. But... You know, some people might see it as an opportunity, like, hey, this little low-level noob doesn't know what this is worth. I could buy that pet for, like, two gold off of him, and he'll probably think it's a lot, and then I can resell it for 10k. So we'll see if uh, the person's willing to scam a poor new player just to make a quick profit. And if they, if they try that, obviously they get nothing. But if they're helpful and friendly, they're going to get themselves a new pet. So uh, let's get to it. And uh, I'm going to pick a random server. We're going to do this video will be all Alliance. And if you guys like this video, then um, we'll go and do a Horde version of it as well. So anyways, let's get into it. Alrighty. So we got to level 5 because I figured it'd be a little suspicious if I was level 1 and I came to Stormwind. So I got my wonderful gear here. Oh, we better get rid of those. We don't want to have anything that makes us look like we know what we're doing. Okay, and, you know, just to make it extra sure, there's a way you can hide your achievements. Yeah, only achievements for this character. So that way, if they happen to click that, they can't even see how many points we got. So, let's get to it. We're going to find ourselves a level 100 and see if he's willing to scam us for our crimson whelping. Okay, Mr. Welping, let's get to it. Keshaw Mart. You see this name? This was a random pick name. It sounds like I'm some kind of gold seller with that kind of name. Keshaw Mart. I don't know. Sounds like some website for gold. Okay. Dumbledwarf. Okay, Dumbledwarf. Hey, uh, are you busy? I have a question. Oh, he's AFK. Let's move on to another guy. I want to level 100, because I mean at 100, you, you got to pretty much know the price of the, the Welpings. Misty Fluffs. That sounds like a girl name, I bet. I bet she'll be willing to help us. Hey, are you busy? I have a question. Don't, 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 don't walk away. Oh, Dumbledore messaged us. Who should we go with? Let's try them both. You know what? Let's just try them both. We'll go with them both. Some guy traded me this and I don't know what it's worth. How do I show you? We'll pretend like we don't even know how to trade. That the other guy traded us and and we don't know what to do. Shift clock the item. Shift clock. Oh wow, that worked. Definitely, definitely looking like a noob here. We gotta make sure. Where's he headed? 
Is he going to tell us the real price of it? He's actually going to look. What are you doing? <laughs> he went in the auction house, so we can imagine he's probably looking up what the Crimson Welping's worth. But let's see if he's going to be a good guy and uh, actually tell us the real price, or if he's going to he's gonna go ahead and rip us off. He's going to see if he can get a low bargain for it. Wow, those are selling for 13,000 gold on the auction house. Okay, we'll get... <laughs> He's actually told us the real price, so he, he's not trying to give us a scam. So he didn't even try and scam us. He actually went and looked it up, and and he uh, told us the real price. So uh, where did he go? We're going to go ahead and give it to him. He didn't try and rip us off. Okay, we're following him. He's even going to show us how to put it on the auction house. He's taking us there like a, a good lad. What a fella. Definitely, definitely a good guy here. Okay, he's going to teach us how to use the auction house. Click on this guy. Okay. <laughs> what a good guy. Then shift click again. Oh, he's even showing us what to do. And you see, he's going through the steps. Let's see how far we'll get him to t take us through the whole scenario. I bet he tells us the entire thing. He's going to even tell us how to post it. Okay, click on the auctions. All right. What a good guy. <laughs> now drag the item to the empty slot. <laughs> Step by steps. Let's see. Let's go. Then put the buyout price. He even told us the exact price. What a good guy. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna break it to him. I'm just kidding, buddy. We'll break it to him. Where's he at? It was simply a test to see if you were going to try and pull a fast one on me. Wanted to see if you'd try and rip me to make. And if he had for yourself. Oh man, oh shit, he is surprised here. He did not see it coming. Be on the YouTube channel, Murgle Gaming, probably later today. Thanks for being a good person. Take care, bud. Well, Dumbledwarf, he passed. So the first person, see, he was even trying to help us. Yeah, that's what I was testing to see. Because if I was new, you could have easily just told me it was five gold or so and traded me for that. But you didn't, and you were even willing to help me out. Gonna try another server now. Keep up the nice work. 
All right, well, Dumbledwarf was our first contestant, and he seemed to do really well. So let's move on to another server, and uh, we're going to repeat the scenario and see what happens. Okay, so we're at round number two. Um, the first one was on Tichondrius, by the way. I was on Tichondrius. So if you see Dumbledorf on and you play on Tichondrius, give that guy a pat on the back, because he was doing pretty good. So uh, now we are on Proudmoor. So if we find a surefire sleazeball, let him know. Um, let's see. I want to make sure they're level 100, because by 100, I mean, you've got to know the value of something. Okay, this guy, he's... Let's see here. Fresh 100. Let's go find another victim. So... Hmm. AFK. Okay, Peekaboo. He's a rogue. And we all know people that play rogues. Alright, so Peekaboo. Hey, can I get your help for a second? Oh, he's played for a long time, too. He has the Hand of a Doll title. So. Can you trade me? I don't know how some guy just gave me this item. Not sure what to do with it. How do I show it? Playing on that noob card real well right now, Mr. Peekaboo. Okay, Peekaboo, this is this is your shining moment. Don't let us down. He's checking the auction house. He's gonna he's gonna give us a real number again too, probably. Or maybe he's checking to see how much he can make. That's maybe what he's going for. He's like, oh, this thing's worth probably about 10k. I could tell this fella 10 gold. And swipe that little pet right off of him. Probably thinks that a lot, huh? What are you doing, Peekaboo? Don't be a slimy rogue. Oh, he's debating. Come on, buddy. The other guy was pretty quick on the gun to tell us what it was worth. But old Peekaboo sure is taking his time. Maybe, maybe he's trying to see how far his moral compass can lean. If he's going to be a good guy today or if he's going to say, Oh, yo, I'll give you ten gold. That's about what it's worth. Come on, Peekaboo. Let's let's play it. Let's try and tempt him. See? We'll say like 10 gold because we think it's it's a lot of gold. So we're, we're trying to push him into being a sleaze ball. We're tempting him with it. Seeing how far he'll go. 
more than that show me again okay we'll, we'll put it in this window maybe we could tempt him to buy it <laughs> we're not giving him much of an option here we're trying to get him to oh, oh he's checking again he's not I don't think he's gonna be a bad guy I think he's he's sticking the good route here We, we, we can't even get him to scam us. We're trying to convince him to, and we can't even convince him to. So, he's definitely a good guy. Unless he changes his mind at this last moment. He's going he's gonna to buy it off us for 100 gold instead. Put it for 7. Okay. Let's see if he'll walk us through. Okay. Wow. How do I do that? Let's see if he, if he can get him to walk us through it too, like the other fella. Oh, he's not going to teach us how to use the auction house, but that's okay. He was still a good sport. We gave him every opportunity to scam us, and he still didn't do it. We're going to give him his pet. Okay, come here. We're going to give him give him his pet. He doesn't even want the pet. He declined the trade. What is this? We're trying to give it to him and he doesn't want it. Take it, man. We don't need it. The whole point was to see if you were good. Oh. Alrighty, he took it. If you yeah, will play on, uh, this is Proudmore. Thanks for being a good person. And you see old Peekaboo, he's a good fella. Give him a pat on the back. So we're two for two. All right, let's pick another server and give this our last go and see what happens. Okay, so here we are on Moogard. We just tried with another individual here, but he just vanished into nothing. So while it looked like he wasn't going to scam us, uh, he lost his opportunity by ignoring us. So we got we to gotta go and find ourselves another victim. So it was looking really good on his behalf, but we lost him. Oh, and if you don't know, I am on Moonguard. I don't know if I said that just now, but... Yeah, this is where I would imagine all the sleaze balls would be. So, uh, or the first guy was doing real well, but but again, he's gone. He vanished on us. So, we gotta find somebody else who's gonna gonna try. Okay, another. This guy's a monk, I think, right? No, he's a rogue. Okay. Hey, can I get your help for a second? Where'd he go? Oh, he said maybe. Means he's not a not so friendly, right? So here we go. So, so I can fact that he said maybe he wasn't willing to hop on the help train so maybe he won't be willing to hop on the good train either sure oh seemed tempted with that caps lock I see him it's him right 
Okay. How do I trade? <laughs> Okay. All right. Let's see what he's going to tell us. Okay. He gave me this. Don't know what it's worth. Oh, he's really just ready to take it off our hands for free now. He just thinks he deserves it. We finally maybe found... I don't either, to be honest. Okay, what should I do with it? Bullshit, you don't know what it's worth. You were willing to press that button faster than I even got the item up there. Do you want to keep it or no? I just want to sell it. Okay. See. Can you show me how? <laughs> okay. I think we finally found somebody who's not as friendly as he uh, pulls it off to be. Okay. I'm sure you could figure it out. What a slime ball. He wanted to take it off our hands and then he runs away. His name's Marago Sun Moonguard. Oh man. What a sleaze ball. He just wanted us to give it to him. <laughs> okay, let's explain it to him now so I can see what he missed out on. Uh oh. Alright, so we informed him right there. Let's see if Maragos has any final words he'd like to add into a uh, anything you have to say for yourself, mate. Ah, oh, well. <laughs> Shit happens, lol. That's right. You could have been a good fella and scored yourself an emerald whelping. But guess what? You didn't today, Mr. Maragos. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed this kind of video. If we, get en if we get enough likes and you guys think this was fun, I will do a horde version of it too. And we'll pick the big, big horde servers as well and uh, have a good go at it. So thanks again for watching uh, and uh, see you again soon. Bye.